uh, topic tonight is summertime injuries. We're talking about property. Uh, what happens when somebody gets hurt on your property? What happens when you get hurt on somebody else's property? Their car, their boat, anything like that. Yeah. Got a great question for you, Matt. Uh, yeah. Coming in here on line one, we're going to go to Biloxi, Gulfport area. Talk to Amy. Amy, good evening. What can we help you with? Hey, Amy. Hi, um, I took my family on a cruise a few weeks ago after uh, my daughter graduated from college. And about two days into the cruise, my daughter and I got incredibly sick. We both had the same food, the same meal uh, the night before at dinner, so I'm pretty sure that it was food poisoning. So we spent um, the whole rest of the cruise in the bathroom, and then when we docked, we still had to go to a clinic because it just wouldn't end. So my question is, is there a way to sue the cruise line to, at the very least, get our money back because we were so sick and it was their fault? Sounds Ugh. terrible. Boy. Being in a foreign port, mm. foreign clinic with food poisoning. If not a good way to spend Oh, boy, no, not, 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 not a good not, way to not spend a great, Not a great graduate. Ooh, that's what are your thoughts on that? Remember. Well, listen, first of all, here's what I would do. Here'd be my kind of legal and okay. kind of just advice. Okay. So I would reach out to the cruise company and see, because if it is really food poisoning, I'm sure you're not the only one. And so first I would give right. them an opportunity to kind of make it right. Let me say this. But let me also kind of comment, interestingly, on cruise cases. When people are hurt on cruise, one big thing is jurisdiction, right? Absolutely. Where do you file? Right. What happens to it? Where do you go? Well, lo and behold, on your ticket itself, the, you know, the, <laughs> the cruise ship company, they set the rules, by the way, for themselves. They actually put in the back of your ticket that, number one, any claims you have will be uh, go to arbitration, which was, requires you to file it in arbitration about and that? pay a pretty big chunk of money. And if not, they say you have to go down to Miami, Florida, generally, and file it there which makes it difficult for a lot of people. So on literally on the back of your cruise ticket, there's all these legal notices, all these legal kind of provisions, and they do that so if there is a claim, they can kind of control the jurisdiction, the venue, why, quite frankly, make it a little difficult for you to kind right. of do a claim. But as I say, the first thing I would do, Amy, would contact the cruise company, and if, you know, if it was there, a lot of people I'm sure had it, then maybe they'll give you, you know, a voucher or something like that and kind of go from there. But let me also say, Proof is going to be an issue about right. where proving, you know, right. you know, I know you say it, I know it came from them. Well, knowing it, proving it, not always the same thing. Gotcha. So, but those are just kind of things I'd consider when I'm looking to that. Matt, did you hear about the uh, cruise ship that left the lady uh, down in the third world country because she had a stroke on the cruise and they just left her down at the clinic? This happened this summer. Just uh, left her. Just left her. I'm sure and, she'd be fine. And, <laughs> right? yeah. and, We're going to go now. And <laughs> We're fortunately, make it, yeah. God bless uh, some good-hearted Americans from Minnesota, literally, uh, we're on the next cruise, different cruise line, just happened to go to that really? clinic and, and, and got her home. Uh, just terrible, just well, terrible. And then that, what they said, they said, there's something on, you sign away, and if you, yep. you don't make it back on the boat, that's your fault, no matter what your medical state is. Yep. Well, and we hear about it all the time. I mean, my God, there was a tragedy, what, three or four years ago, where a cruise line actually went aground in oh, the Mediterranean yeah. and yeah. sank. I think people were killed. But no, people fall overboard. Yes. You know, a lot of bad things happen. But yes, they have the cruise ship industry, they, you know, they're going to try to protect themselves, and sure. they do. So look in the back of those tickets if you have time. They try to set the, you know, what I like to do is cross through them because I'm a lot of fun, and I've never had a cruise ship claim. But, but they do. It's a lot of litigation about that for okay. sure. Amy, thank you so yeah. much for the call tonight. Hope you and your daughter get to feeling better uh, going forward. Terrible Different experience. Different cruise line next yeah, time. Yeah, yeah that, that might be the way to go there. Yeah.